and welcome to In the Kitchen with Ginger. Tonight, I want to talk about oils. These are cooking oils and salad oils that we use every day, some more than others. Um, what I really want to talk about is the genetically modified oils. Three of the biggest genetically modified plants are soy, corn, and canola. We have most of our vegetable oils are those three items. And what I really want to bring to your attention is we have so many other oils here that we can use. What are GMOs, genetically modified organisms? Well, what the big manufacturers do is, say like the soy plant, they want to get it Roundup ready. So what they do is genetically modify this plant so that when you spray Roundup on the plant, all the weeds around it die except for this plant. But guess what? We're eating that plant. Along with that, the pesticides, they'll genetically modify it so when the bugs eat the plant, they'll blow their stomachs up. Now, they're just eating like a microscopic little bite and it blows their stomachs up. Now, of course, we're a lot bigger, but imagine that we eat the same plant for 15 years. What do you think is going to happen to our intestines? What do you think controls our immune system, our, our gut, our gut flora? So I want to uh, just go over a few oils here. Um, first of all, if you use spray oils. Now I like these two because this one here is 100% avocado oil. And you read, please read the ingredients. And this is not an aerosol. This is an a air pump. And then this one here is 100% olive oil. Nothing else added. Again, non-aerosol pump. And then here we have, which is delicious, you have almond oil. You have uh, sesame seed oil. Now let me um, go over sesame seed oil with you. You can get sesame seed oil roasted or non-roasted. If you get it non-roasted, it's very light and, and good in any type of salad dressing. But if you get the toasted, it's very strong, delicious, but you need just a little bit. And a lot of your Thai and Asian foods will use the toasted sesame seed. Now here we have avocado oil. Now with the avocado oil, and along with uh, the macadamia nut and the olive oil, they will generally say, first cold pressed. And what does that mean? It means it's the first time they pick the, the nut or the olive off the tree. It's the first one they pick and then they cold press it not to change the uh, chemical uh, balance of it with heating it. So this is one of my favorite actually is the Bragg's because also it's unrefined and unfiltered. It's as natural as possible. Love that. Uh, the macadamia nut, too, is actually cold-pressed, first cold-pressed. So always read your labels and also see what's in it. Is it 100% oil or if they've added anything? Stay with 100% pure as much as possible. Now, over here, we have corn oil. We have uh, vegetable oil, which the ingredients is soy and canola. And then here, we have uh, pure canola oil. Now, I don't know for sure, but I would probably bet that these are GMOs. They don't say non-GMO. But then I found this one the other day that says canola oil, non-GMO. So I would probably purchase this one. Now, the only thing about the canola oil is it, is, it goes through a heat process to get the oil out. So if I had my choice, I would go back to a first cold pressed oil before I tried the non-GMO canola oil. Now, um, there's so much information out there on genetically modified organisms, but Genetic Roulette is a documentary that was made by Jeffrey Smith, and he is like the guru of non-GMOs, and he's been on this fight and on this journey I think for over 15, 20 years now. You also can go to the website. It's called the non-gmoproject.org to get any of the updated information you want. Also, too, I'll post is the non-GMO label. And his company 
is the one that promotes that. So if you see that label, and again, I'll post that well, you know that it has been through all kinds of measures to ensure that there's no GMOs in those products. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please messenger me on Facebook. In review, items that are possibly genetically modified is the corn oil, soy oil, canola oil. Now here's a canola oil, but it does have the non-GMO verified labeling on that. But it is high heat refined. Um, we have the organic unrefined, unfiltered, extra virgin, first cold pressed olive oil. That is generally my first choice. But then we have all these items are non-GMOs. We have macadamia nut oil, avocado oil. We have sesame seed oil. We have the roasted for flavor, but you can get the unroasted as well. Almond oil, and a big one here is the coconut oil, which is very good brain food the omegas, and then if we're gonna use the spray cans or the sprays, I get the pump uh, cans, which um, are 100% olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, but you also can get this in coconut oil as well. So if you have any questions, please contact me on Time for Ginger on Facebook or Messenger me. Thank you.